The moment cat lovers lay their eyes on palace cats their immediate response is. OMG, I want 40 of those. Well, one has to understand the sentiment behind the response because palace cats or Otocolobus manual are adorable, unusual and super fluffy. Because of their elusive existence and habitat far into the grasslands and steppes of Central Asia and Eurasia. Cat lovers don't know much about these flat-faced furry kitties. To quench your thirst of curiosity, in this video I am going to discuss 10 incredible palace cat facts that are sure to leave you amazed. 1. Palace cats derive their name from Peter Pallas. Palace cats get their names from a German naturalist who originally in 1776 classified the cats as Felis Manuel. The word manual finds its root in the Mongolian language. The modified and current scientific name of palace cats, Otocolobus Manuel, is derived from the Greek language and interestingly enough Otocolobus means ugly eared. They don't look ugly to me. In the preliminary stages of his classification, Pallas wrongly suggested that these cats were the ancestors of Persian cats owing to their long fur, stout body, and flat face. 2. They are not fat, they are just very fluffy. Their stout build coupled with a furry coat give an illusion of large size to these furry kitties. I mean they aren't that big to begin with when compared with some other big wild cats but the furry coats add to the illusion. In reality, they weigh somewhere around 12 pounds and are less than 2 feet in body length. This means a palace cat isn't much bigger than your ordinary house cat but the furry dense coat makes them look bigger. 3. Their coats do more than just making them cute and cuddly. The unique coat that palace cats are ordained with forms the essence of their beauty. And I know you can just fall in love with these kitties by laying your eyes on their fur. They are short, stout, plumped, cuddly, squishy, cute. Enough adjectives to wanna adopt one, isn't it? I am sorry my friend, you can't. They are designed by nature to exist in the wild and can't survive well in domesticated environments. It's heartbreaking, I know. There, there. Their furry coat is longest near the belly which is very convenient. As it helps them keep warm in winters and when they are hunting on frozen grounds. In addition to the length, Palace's cat hair density and color pattern also keeps changing depending on the season. During winter Palace cat's coat take up a uniform gray color and in warmer months, you will find their coats evolving into a red-toned hue. The coat pattern also helps protect these cats from predators by blending in with the surrounding environment. 4. Palace cat pupils are round unlike vertical in other cats. If you own a cat and happen to catch a stare from her, apart from the consistent judgment you will also observe the innate beauty in their eyes. Check out this video on cat eyes where I discuss some incredible facts on cat's eyes that are sure to leave you in awe. Link available in the YouTube cards above and the description box below. Palace cat's eyes differ from your domesticated cat in the sense that their pupils are round instead of vertical slits. In this way, the palace cats are similar to other wild cats such as lions and tigers who also have round pupils instead of vertical ones. If you are wondering why do some cats have vertical pupils and some round ones, check out this study conducted by the University of California, whose link is in the blog post attached with this video. The study found that the pupil shapes may be directly linked to the animal's role as a predator or prey in the food chain. Animals with round pupils were identified as ambush hunters that were active during the day as well as late into the night. On the other hand, animals ordained with vertical pupils were more often than not foragers that chased their prey. In addition to this, it was also found that predators that hunt closer to the ground like the house cats have vertical pupils. Whereas large wild cats like tigers are ordained naturally with stark round pupils. Enjoying the video so far. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that I can shower you with cat love three times a week. 5. Palace cats are ambush hunters. The research holds very true with the nature palace cats exude. Palace cats are ambush hunters and as per the research also have round pupils. Granted that these cats mostly feed on pica, they stalk the prey using large vegetation and stones as covers. Their furs help conceal themselves very conveniently with the environment to aid in hunting. They will also on many occasions wait for their prey outside their burrows, ready to pounce as soon as its inhabitants exit. In addition to pica, palace cats also hunt gerbils, voles, hares, ground squirrels, birds, young marmots, rodents birds, and other small insects. 
6. Palace cats are poor runners. While these cats are excellent at ambushing the prey, palace cats are very poor runners. And therefore aren't foragers that chase the prey over long distances. I think you can easily infer this characteristic by looking at them. Their poor running capability, for the most part, is due to their short, stout and stocked builds. Palace cats, unlike some other wild cats, do not have strong and lengthy hind legs that help them to run very fast. But the assets that nature has blessed them with, are more than sufficient to live and hunt well in the ecosystem that palace cats are a part of. When chased by predators they resort to concealing themselves around boulders, long vegetation, and small crevasses. 7. They have brief mating periods. Palace cats breed between December and March. The breeding season is relatively short and females typically give birth between March and May after a gestation period ranging anywhere from 60 to 80 days. Palace cat litters usually have three to four kittens but on occasions, female manuals can give birth to as many as eight kittens. The kittens become independent by the time they are three to four months old and are ready to procreate when they are nine to ten months old. 8. They may be closely related to leopards. In the initial stages of classification, Peter Pallas wrongly inferred manuals to be related to Persian cats. He said, it looks like an offspring of a Maine Coon and a Scottish Fold weaned on a dose of steroid milk. And boy was he wrong. Well, at least he had a good sense of humor. There, there. Later, looking at various traits experts conclude that the wild cat's closest by a long shot relative might be the leopards. 9. They lead a solitary life. Apart from the brief mating period that they get together in, palace cats, for the most part, lead a solitary life. They are notoriously territorial and elusive, with both males and females using the scent to mark their territory of about three miles. They spend most of their daytime in the caves, crevices or burrows coming out only during the dusk time primarily to hunt. And their love for solitude isn't just limited to not having other animals in their territory. The behavioral study reveals that palace cats don't even like the company of other palace cats. In an account by Bill Swanson, the Cincinnati Zoo's director of animal research, zookeepers while taking care of a palace cat litter by listening to some of the noises thought that the kittens were having trouble breathing. On analyzing the sounds a little more carefully they realized that the sounds emanating from the kittens were that of them hissing and growling at other kittens. Talk about enjoying your own company. 10. The International Union classifies them as near threatened. On a research estimate, we know that palace cats can live up to six years. But that number in recent times has taken a huge hit. In 2002, the International Union for Conservation of Nature have classified palace cats as near threatened and the status hasn't changed to this day. I know what you are thinking. Why is everything beautiful threatened nowadays? Well, my friend, that's because humans don't know how to handle their own freedom. And we have this twisted idea that freedom means we can do whatever we want. And in our childish and selfish desires, we encroach the natural habitats of beautiful beings like palace cats among other animals. Consequence, natural beauty, and natural beings are slowly subsiding into nothingness. I am sorry, I didn't want to end the video on a sad note. But isn't it important that I make you aware of the facts as they are? The good thing is balance and symmetry are the inherent properties of nature. And if we, you and me, from today start being responsible towards nature in small steps, like reducing our plastic usage, using resources only that which we require, and include this existence in our compassion. The existence will start replenishing itself because that is its nature. I know there are a lot of people out there that say, Oh, we need to preserve nature. We need to conserve the environment. Animals are dying. While I can understand the sentiment, I question our judgment as to why do we first mess things up and then launch campaigns to unmess them. Why aren't we living a conscious unmessy lifestyle that is empowering to everybody and everything in the first place? Food for thought isn't it? I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please don't refrain from expressing your feelings about palace cats or concerns regarding nature and animals in the comments section below. Take great care of yourselves and your cat and I will see you in the next one. Bye.